my mom was around my age, she was a picky eater. This led my mom to be obsessed with these homemade rolls that we always used to make. At every family gathering, they'd make her an extra set of rolls because they knew they wouldn't get any because she would eat them all. Um, when we moved out to Colorado, we continuously tried to make these rolls, but they would never work, and the main factor causing that was altitude. Um, my mom used to live in Illinois, where the altitude is about 594 feet, versus out here, the altitude is 5,360 feet, and as you can tell, that's a huge difference in the altitude. So I decided to do some research, and I found out that viscosity decreases as altitude increases, and viscosity is the consistency of dough or batter using internal friction, and in bread terms, this means the dough either all sticks together and rises together and then all falls apart, or it just doesn't stick together at all, so it just stays dense. And so once I discovered this, I decided to look up ways that I could prevent this from happening in the rolls that I had. So what I discovered is that eggs help strengthen the dough, leaveners such as butter and shortening uh, thins out the dough, and yeast, which is not used in quick breads, assists the dough in rising. And now on to the solving. So I decided to make the original batch of rolls so I could compare it to the modified batch of rolls that I made. And in the original, the batch of rolls, wrote, it barely rose. And as you can see here, the top is rock solid and the inside is very dense and sticky even, and they looked undercooked even though I cooked them the required amount of time. And so when I was solving these, I was like, how do I solve this? So I decided to add an extra eighth a cup of butter to help thin the dough out because they didn't rise. And I added an extra tablespoon of yeast to help them rise more again since they just didn't rise at all. And so I stuck them in the bread machine and took them out. And they had already risen a lot more than the original batch because when I took it out of the bread machine, it had overflown the top of the pan inside, versus the original one had only risen halfway through the thing. Um, after, and then again, they rise after I shaped them into the rolls, and they had overflown those pans as well. Um, and as you can see in these photos after I cooked them, these are kind of sunken in, and these have overflown the pan, and these look very uncooked versus the other ones look like natural rolls. Um, when you take a look at the inside, you can see that the top is rock solid and it's cracking and how dense it is versus the other ones all light, fluffy, and airy. And in the end, I had gotten my mother's approval when she said they looked and tasted like the original ones, so I guess that's a good sign. Um, another thing that I learned during this is that one modification doesn't solve everything because each recipe you have uh, adjusts to altitude in a different way. For example, if my rolls would have risen and then collapsed, I wouldn't have added yeast or added butter because that would have not help it would have frozen more so that wouldn't have helped at all so yeah and then on to cookies because cookies also affects altitude differently um, it's not visible as much it is as it is the texture of the cookie uh, the cookies dry out in high altitude because as altitude increases water evaporation temperature decreases so the water evaporates faster in the cookies which leads them to be very dry and also, like the rolls, they rise and collapse with viscosity as well. Um, so then I had to do my research, and I found out that eggs strengthens the dough as well as moistens the dough as well, so it doesn't dry and it isn't as cracked as it should be. And then leaveners thin out the dough as well in cookies as they do in rolls. Um, sugar thins out the dough, and dry milk strengthens the dough. So when I made my cookies, I ran into two problems. I ran into that they were very dry, and when I cooked them, they rose, and then they collapsed. So I decided to make three different modified batches, and in my second batch, I added the egg, and the egg ended up strengthening the dough as well as it wasn't dry and cracked when I was baking them. Um, I had a reduced sugar, and I reduced it by an eighth of a cup, and it, what it was supposed to do is like get rid of the sugar so it doesn't thin out as much, but it also didn't strengthen the batter, so it ended up just collapsing still, and it uh, resulted in a uh, flat cookie and then I reduced the butter for the fourth one and it did the same thing as the uh, sugar did. Um, somehow I managed to find taste testers, I don't know how, who wants to taste cookies, but they all said that the batch number two worked the best, tasted the best, and looked the best. Um, so for further comparison I have these videos showing how they rise. Should I request access or? Okay. Yeah, I put them into the slide, so. Okay, should I just? Okay. So should I do it now? Or should I wait till later? Okay. So you see is how in the original batch the cookies rise and then they collapse and then in the egg one 
when I added the extra egg, they rise, but they do not collapse when they're baking, so they stay in their fluffy form. Um, uh, throughout my research, I just found out that it's not about finding a universal solvent for these cookies, because, again, as I said earlier, each recipe uh, figures out differently and re reacts differently to different altitudes. Um, it's about knowing how the different ingredients affect your overall recipe. So, like I said before, like the egg strengthen, the butter thins, and stuff. That helps you figure it out because then once you bake your original recipe, you can find out what is going on with your recipe and you can modify it to figure out how you can make your overall best cookies. Uh, for example, when I did my research for my rolls, I thought that what was happening was they were rising and collapsing, which made them dense, but I found out they just weren't rising at all. So I was going to add, or not going to add yeast, but then I found out that I needed to add yeast and that made a huge <coughs> difference in my rolls. Um,